Hello everyone, today we are back for part 3 of the Star Wars tutorial series where I show you how to make this shot. So in part 1 we already saw how to make the blasters, in part 2 it was about the animation, and in this part we'll be seeing how to render the overall scene to make it look nice. So yeah, let's get to it. Where here I'm on Blender already. And that's exactly where we took off from part two. So the animation looks great. But now we have to go ahead and add the blasters. How do you do that? Very simple. Just go to File, then to Append. Then you're gonna select. So right here, I'm a little. Okay, so you wanna go ahead and look for your Blender project, Blast. And you're gonna go ahead and first, very important, you go to Collection. You're gonna import the plast so that's our uh, source but now we need the actual emitter that we made previously so the same append and this time instead of going to collections we are gonna go back so to plast but what we want is go on object and we need the plane and now boom we have the emitter except it's not shooting in the right direction because what we needed is to shoot where our x-wing is at so we're gonna go ahead first and turn it this way then we're gonna go ahead and select to make it easier this right here click here and then you want to hit shift s selection to cursor and boom so now it's lots closer and once we've got this, we can just go ahead and try to do our best. Okay, so now, as you can tell, it's right where it's supposed to be. And all we're gonna have to do is click on the plane. And what we're gonna do first is uh, go ahead and duplicate it because we're gonna need another one for later. But uh, with this one, what we're gonna do is just go ahead like shift like this and we're gonna go ahead and parent it so now as you can see it's following the x-wing animation see boom and it's shooting where we want it see but there's a little problem is that right here see it's shooting a little too much on the uh, right uh, on the left sorry and how do you fix that well you just have to keep playing with it So we're gonna go ahead and select the emitter and put it more downwards. So now it's actually going towards the ship, but once again, it's too much going to the left. So let's turn it a bit this way. Okay, and now it's shooting, as you can tell, in the middle. So that's perfect. We've got uh, the right emitter in front of our X-Wing. And now we just have to do the same thing for the two other ones. And now we should have something like this. Perfect. But now let's say we want to do it like in the shot, we want the blasting to start a bit after. So what we can do for that is already have, you know, the two X-Wings shooting. Let's say we want the main one to start a bit after. So to do that, we're just gonna go ahead and select um, the first uh, blaster right here, this point. And when you go into settings, right here, see frame start, we're gonna put that it starts, let's say on the 18th one. So now, so maybe that's a bit too soon. Let's give that another try. So, plane, let's give it something like, let's say 30. Let's see what that does. Okay, and boom. Now see, it's not starting right away. Okay, that seems good to me. And now that we've got this, let's go and move to the textures. So for the first time, we're gonna go ahead and put the preview out. Okay, 
so that's how it's looking so far but now we want to see it like how it's actually gonna be so you just go right here put scene light scene world okay so now it's all dark then uh, here you see in the world we're gonna put it all black because in space well it's black okay so yeah that's looking very nice already as you can see there's the red from the stuff and everything but yeah we're in space so what we're gonna do so let me just put all these settings bloom and everything so now we can actually see the blasters see that's how it's looking so pretty nice but yeah once we've done that we're gonna go ahead and add a sun so as i said it's just a sun so you just go here light sun and boom we get a sun let's say we want it coming this way maybe no i don't know yeah maybe that's yeah something like this yeah that's looking good so now let's just bring up the strength of it yeah something like this okay so now we've got a nice lighting okay so this is uh the lighting i'm gonna use for this shot and now what we're gonna do is go ahead and add some stars because it's looking pretty boring at the moment so for that you want to go ahead and get this a little high go into shader editor and here change it to world once you're in here so i already made a tutorial on this but i'm gonna do it again you just put a noise texture like this color into color and now it's looking all weird then we're gonna add a color ramp just like so and bring up the blacks and bring down the whites so now we get this weird stuff going on and that's all right because then we're gonna go ahead and upscale the overall stars see okay and that seems too much so you just go into the distortion and you can play around with this settings and if there's still too much you just have to bring the whites lower and bring the blacks up so what we're gonna do is go here change this to cycles and uh, just to have a quick uh, render we're just going to put this to uh, 32 and we'll put motion blur adaptive sampling and let's render this so now we get this image right here it's okay when you can see like motion blur wise but we can always make that better and especially what's missing is the glow so to do that first we're gonna fix something real quick in motion blur see where it's the center and frame just put either end on frame or start on frame i like to put start on frame that's just gonna help the render then let's bring that up to 64 so it's not as noisy and here in the denoising tab just press render but open image denoise now let's render this, see how it looks. Okay, so as you can tell, the render is lots better now that we added the denoise. And you can tell uh, now the motion blur is a bit fixed. So everything's fine, but the last thing we need to fix is the glow, because as you can tell, it's not as glowing as with Eevee. So to do that, we're gonna go ahead and go to the composing tab here, click use nodes, and here, we're gonna go ahead and make this wider. Then we're gonna go ahead and add a viewer node so we can see what we're doing. Right here. Okay, and boom. Okay, that's our image. Now, what we're gonna do is go ahead and add a split RGB. So, RGB. Uh, separate, yeah, that's the one. We're gonna put this here, and then we're gonna put one that says RGB2, and it's the combine. Okay, so now it's all red. 
So what we're going to do is connect the G with the G, B with the B, A with A. Boom, we get everything together. And now, since we've done that, we can actually add an effect to only one color. And as you can tell in the scene, everything is uh, pretty black and grayish, except for the red that's coming out of the blast and that's supposed to glow. So what we can do is go ahead and add a glare node, like so, on the... Oh, okay, and you see what it's doing now. It's gonna make a glow, but that's not the glow we want. We're gonna go ahead and add a fog glow. And boom, look, now it's all glowing, perfect. You can change the settings, you just have to play with it. I'll go with high, it's looking very good. And yeah, now all you have to do is go back to your layout, then maybe uh, upscale the samples, something like uh, 128, and just render it and you're done. And you should have something like this. <laughs> So I really hope you enjoyed the video and the overall tutorial series. Let me know if you have any idea for another tutorial series and I'll see you next time.